Hi, this is JNM with a new Blunder tips and tricks video, this time about sculpting and using different stroke methods. So let's get started with Blunder 2.78 and adding a simple UV sphere. I switch to solid shading and I will enable the screencast keys so that you can see which keys I'm pressing. And I have the OpenGL lights add-on enabled with the template warm shade as a visual sculpting helper. So let's prepare this for sculpting. I press Ctrl 2 to add two subdivision levels. After that I switch to sculpting mode and apply the subdivision surface modifier. Then I enable dynamic topology with a high relative detail and smooth shading. For the symmetry I use X mirror. Okay, now we can try the different stroke methods that I wanted to show. I used the crease brush and set the strength and the pinch to 1. Then I press F to set the size of my brush and shift F to set the strength of the brush to 1. Alright, now press E and you get a pop-up menu with the different stroke methods and the first method I want to show you is the line. With this selected you can carve straight lines into your model by holding the left mouse button down or using a tablet and dragging over the surface of the model. When you hold your control key down while doing this you get the opposite operation. You don't carve into your model but you are adding topology onto the surface in a straight line. And now let me switch to the curve stroke. When you selected this method you hold the control key down and each time you click with the left mouse button onto the model surface, you add a new point to your curve. And after you defined your curve this way, you just press the return key on your keyboard to apply the brush stroke with all the settings for the brush like strength or size along this curve. And each time you press return, you again apply this stroke and for example carve deeper into the model. With the A key you can select the whole curve, you can rotate it, scale it, change the curve as you like and with X you get rid of the curve. So that's a very powerful method to add sharp lines to your model. Now let me show you how to make edges you added even sharper by using the pinch brush. Again I increase the strength, then select the line stroke method and draw here a line along this edge and you can see how crisp and clean this edge will look like. Now I hold the shift key down to smooth out the inner part. And then again the pinch brush to sharpen the second edge. For these edges here I don't use the line stroke, I again switch to the curve method and add a curve along the edge and then apply some strokes with the pinch brush. Press return a few times, then press A to select the curve and X to remove it and look at this you can get a really sharp and interesting result. Now we'll sharpen this line as well. Just define two points for the stroke and hit return two times to sharpen it. Okay, what I also want to show is the smooth stroke. So I switch back to the space stroke method. Then select smooth stroke and then you can slide along the edges that you want to sharpen with this lazy brush. This method is also nice to carve in some hand-drawn curves. I'm using the mouse here, a tablet will give you better results. I will smooth out the start and end points a little bit. Something like this. When you want to use the curve stroke to add topology in straight lines, you can define the curve 
and after that choose add instead of subtract for the crease brush and then again hit the return key to apply. And you get some interesting results like this and of course you can switch back to subtract and use the crease brush to carve in at this area here. Okay, the last thing that I want to show you is using the flatten brush in combination with the curve stroke to flatten out some particular areas. So I press E and select the curve stroke method and add a curve along this line. You can adjust it as you like and then press return a few times to flatten out this part. And after that you can switch to the space stroke method again and come with a smooth brush to really smooth out the affected areas. Okay guys, that's it what I wanted to show you in this video. I really hope it motivates for trying new stuff with Blender and sculpting. And if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. And it would be really helpful if you could support me by using my Patreon. Recording these videos takes a lot of time, so every help is highly appreciated. So thanks a lot for watching and see you soon on JNM.